So I'm Luke Pearce, I'm a Senior Fisheries Manager with New South Wales DPI Fisheries in the Habitat and Threatened Species Unit. And my role is basically, you know, working on projects to, to maintain and improve threatened fish populations across southern New South Wales. So today we've been here working with some recreational anglers to try and collect trout cod broodstock for our captive breeding program. So as part of the trout cod action plan, we're planning on increasing production of trout cod. So um, in the medium term, we're hoping to produce 100,000 trout cod a year and then ramp that up to 250,000 a year to increase the numbers of fish we're stocking and try and, um, I guess, fast track the recovery of this species. To produce these bigger numbers, we need more broodstock. And um, we've been having trouble collecting broodstock by our normal means, so through electric fishing. So we've enlisted um, the help of some recreational fishers and Ozfish to try and help us um, catch trout cod broodstock to take back to our hatchery at Naranda and use to breed lots more trout cod so we can put more trout cod back in the river and um, get more populations of the species going. So my name's Grant Higginson and I'm the president of the Ozfish Wagga Wagga chapter. And today it's been a privilege um, to have myself and a couple other local rec anglers helping with fisheries to capture some trout cod broodstock. The trout cod that we've caught today, um, they're going to go back into the breeding program at Narendra Fisheries uh, and they're going to basically contribute to the future of the trout cod um, here in our local waterways. What a lot of people don't realise is just how close we came to losing this fish. Up until a captive breeding program that was established in the late 1980s, um, the species was almost gone. There was only one wild remnant population remaining in the Murray River, so we almost lost this species. And then a captive breeding program throughout the, the 90s and the 2000s has re-established some additional populations. We're starting to see it, you know, um, the fish come back in some areas, but not to the point um, you know, where we're, we're happy or satisfied that, that they're secure. But we're trying to improve that and increase that so hopefully one day we can see them back as a recreational fishing species because they're an amazing fish. Um, and there's a lot of really keen interest and support among recreational fishers to see them back as a, as a recreational fishing species. And I really think we can do that. At the moment, you're not allowed to target them. What we're doing here today is an exception to that. So we've got special permits and approvals that allow us to target them with the recreational fishers and collect broodstock to use for our captive breeding program. But yeah, hopefully one day if we can um, continue to produce large numbers of them and re-establish populations one day hopefully we'll see a, um, a recreational fishery for this amazing fish again. So recreational fishing is probably one of my favourite pastimes but to be able to um, come out fishing for the day and also contribute to the future of the trout cod uh, in Australia has just been an awesome experience. Today was a huge success and far more successful than I had thought it would be. So we've been struggling a little bit to, to get good numbers of trout cod over the past couple of weeks um, and you know, we've only been picking up one or two here and there. Today we managed to collect nine trout cod broodstock with the help of um, a bunch of recreational fishers. So that's a fantastic result, um, super exciting and um, yeah far exceeded my expectations so we're really pleased and really excited with the result and it's just great to see recreational fishers contributing to the recovery of a threatened species and an amazing fish as well you know. To be able to go out and take these fish from our local waterways uh, and know that they're going to go back to breed tens of thousands uh, of future trout cod for our waterways it's just awesome to know that the uh, future generations will be able to benefit from what we've done here today. Yeah, so those fish we caught today, they'll go back to our hatchery at Narandra and um, be used in our captive breeding program. So they may even contribute this year, so they may spawn and, and produce eggs and larvae and then juvenile fish that we'll stock out later on in the year. And then we'll keep those fish for about five years and um, they'll keep producing juveniles that we can stock out and, and re-establish populations elsewhere. So they'll go into a pond after a quarantine period at Narandra, so they'll go back and, and get a salt bath now and, and um, have a bit of a rest for a couple of a couple of weeks before they get put out into a pond, and then hopefully this spring um, they'll they'll start finding mates and, and laying eggs within in the nest boxes in that pond, and then those eggs will hatch, and then in in early December we'll um, hopefully release um, large numbers of their juveniles or their their progeny back into the water. Ozfish Unlimited are all about better habitat, better fishing, and while today wasn't so much about habitat, it was about the future of the species within our freshwater waterways. So Ozfish are really proud to be involved with this project and have fisheries ask us to contribute and uh, get involved with this uh, exercise today and capture some brood stock of the trout cod. Uh, it's been a really good exercise, a really good partnership between Ozfish and New South Wales uh, Fisheries. Yeah, so the thing that I really think about uh, in trying to recover trout cod is this, this is an amazing, unique Australian fish 
that every Australian should have the opportunity to see and potentially catch if they wanted to. And you know, the tragic thing is that generations of Australians have grown up without that opportunity. They've never had the, the opportunity to see this amazing fish and potentially catch it. So now what we're trying to do here is, is bring back trout cod and re-establish populations so you know future generations have that opportunity and don't miss out on seeing this incredible animal and hopefully catching them in the wild. So we're looking forward to in about 12 to 18 months being able to release some of the fingerlings that were um, bred from the fish that we caught today and it'll be an exciting day that when we can actually go and release those and just see uh, I guess the fruit from what we've um, gathered here today. I'd just like to um, really thank the guys who have been here today. It's been an amazing day. It's been an amazing result. So yeah, thanks to the recreational fishers who have been here and helped us out today. And thanks to Ozfish um, for also helping out and contributing to this program. It's been a, a great success.